Are you hungry? Starved. Starved, yeah. Me too, very hungry. Let's go eat. Keep the heck with you. Check it out, there goes one of the uh, Navy ships out here. Don't quite know which one it is. It's smaller, I don't think we saw it yesterday. Cruising through the harbor. Maybe not. Oh yeah. And the best part is right there. A Southwest jet coming in over there, 737. Look at that. Perfection. And that would be the LDS, Church of Latter-day Saints, Mormon Church. There's a Jetta up there too, because Volkswagens are about the same as Audis. Rancho Santa Fe, a beautiful place to be. There's a red Bentley GT convertible down here. We'll take a look at that. 65 degrees, had a beautiful drive here. X6. There's the Bentley. That looks nice and red, actually. I like how the gas station slash service area here in Rancho has an E-Class in the garage, an S550, actually that's an AMG, an S63 or 65 up on the lift, an old Mercedes E-Class diesel out there, a 3 Series, a really nice E64 6 Series with the top up, it's typical. Some sort of an AMG CL55. And what could be a Jag portfolio maybe? And an old Jag. This is the downtown area where I have actually never been. I think maybe when Kenan was here we drove through it, but I'm on car watch, of course, and I see another Bentley GT sticking out over there. Light blue, it's beautiful. 15 minutes. I should check my app. This is beautiful. Game that's definitely happening. Maybe it's this. Just a mirror five series. I bet Kenan will remember that bridge. This is the 15 north of town, about what, 50 miles, probably. Yep, we saw that forever.
check you. That's a fun little car, is that a Porsche? Oh, that's my Porsche. Porsche, whatever the heck that was called, the 356 or something, that's nice. I see a red car, and it's not a Chevy, it's a Ferrari. Pretty decent. Good and white though. I bet he's a doctor or a lawyer. Oh, look at that. That is amazing. Good evening, welcome back. It's about 9.15, 9.20. I'm taking a walk on Coronado. I'm at 2nd Street and A Avenue, headed back to the Marriott. And I just heard the alarm of what I distinctly recognize as a BMW. So it could have been an E39. It was the same as mine, so they probably used that in the E39, the E38, the E53, possibly the E46, I don't know. So I'm kind of walking around now. It's pretty nice out. It's about 58 degrees still. It got up to 65-ish uh, today. As you saw, we went to Palm Springs. That was a great drive. Well, I'll start from this morning. We got up, had our incredible breakfast. I had 11 strips of bacon this morning. That's probably a new record for me. It's really good. Then we drove up to um, Rancho Santa Fe. We were gonna hit Rancho Penasquitos, but we had some uh, traffic problems where the 5 and the 805 merge. We probably sat there for 20 minutes. Um, so we just hit Rancho Santa Fe, walked around downtown a little bit. Really nice, saw some cool cars, and we went over to my dad's office, switched cars, piled in the M5, and drove to Palm Springs. I had never been there before. I've been out to everywhere between Santa Barbara and damn near the, the border down south of here, 10 miles. I've been there multiple times, LA and everything, of course San Diego and everything in between, but I hadn't been out to Palm Springs. Now, if you remember, when I was here in March, my dad and I got the rental car, that white Camaro, Chevy Camaro we had, and we drove out into the um, Anza Borrego Desert through the Cleveland National Forest, and we went to Borrego Springs. We had heard there, had heard that there's some really good driving roads there, and there were. Now that was we got here on like a Friday maybe, and the first full day we were here in San Diego, it was terrible weather. Um, well, terrible meaning like 55 and just raining, sprinkling, misting, raining all day. So we thought, well, there's no use in sitting around here. It'll look prettier tomorrow. Let's go out in the desert. So we did that, and we drove to Borrego. That was like a whole day. Well, today we took the, how we go? We took the 15 north, then the 215 and the 60 into Palm Springs, and then Highway, Highway 11 into Palm Springs. We were in there for maybe an hour or two tops. Saw some good cars and some cool stuff in Palm Springs. I don't know, it's, it was a cool place to visit. It was only 65 degrees, so they were all freezing. We saw Bob Hope's house and the new statue of the Marilyn Monroe stuff and whatnot. So it was worthwhile. Not a place I would go back real soon, but you know, it was cool. Then we went home through Palm Desert, and then I actually took over. I got to drive the M5 for like 100 miles today, thanks Dad. Um, 
And I guess I didn't actually know this, but I got about the perfect time to switch drivers on highway, I think it was highway 74. Those roads, better than the roads in Borrego Springs. We cut up this canyon for like 20 minutes, really twisty roads. Then we got up and I filmed a little bit on the iPhone there. I'd left the flip in the car. There was a Ferrari California flying through those roads, a Fisker, a lot of really nice cars up there. And the view, oh my God, it was amazing. You could see 50 miles in every direction. You could see the Salton Sea out to the Southeast a little bit. It was really, really, really beautiful. And the, you could see the road we came up. It was breathtaking. So. Then we got back in the M5 and I drove it all the way back to uh, his office where our rental car was parked. And I will talk more about how that car compares with the E39 later. But really cool day. Then we went to dinner. Uh, where'd we get dinner? Um, kind of like Mission, Mission City, Mission Valley by his apartment. Then we came back here and they're really tired from being in a car all day and stuff. So I came out, talked on the phone for a little bit. Now I'm headed back to the hotel room to do my emails and the vlogs and catch up and take a shower and go to bed. Tomorrow, um, we're gonna do the big cleanup job on his M5. You know, we got him all the Zeno stuff for Christmas, the clay bar, all the washes, all the waxes and soaps and stuff. So we're gonna detail that tomorrow. It's probably gonna be a full day. So lots of M5 content tomorrow and potentially an E39 source video. Um, talking about the E60 M5 and probably more just video and a little tour of it, so. We'll do that. I don't know what's going on tomorrow night. We have Sunday and then we leave later in the day on Monday. I'll be home Tuesday morning at like 2 a.m. or something like that. So it's been awesome so far. Tomorrow should be good. I'm going to go back into the hotel, get that work done. Sorry for a really long clip. I don't know how long this video is, but lots of footage from the car today. I've been doing a lot of driving. Probably uh, we drove maybe nearly 300 miles today in total. So, all right, cool. Awesome day. Talk to you guys tomorrow on Saturday what will be, I believe, January 5th. Good night. Thanks for watching.